Welcome to Ask Davis Golf. Today I want to share with you a great drill that will help improve your sequencing in the golf swing. So what is sequencing? Essentially it's using your body in the correct order to create a firing pattern that allows you to produce the best power and most consistency. <clears throat> so it's often talked about and essentially what it is, is, is your lower half getting to back to the sort of target line first, followed by your trunk, followed by your arms and followed by the club. And that kind of sequencing as we'd call it, creates the most efficient power we can use. Now there are golfers out there that have great power, great ability, that don't fire exactly in this order. So it's not a deal breaker if you don't, but it's certainly what we'd encourage you to do if you can. So this drill can be done at home or on the range and give you the right feels for your body to allow you to feel the sequencing and encourage the right movement that will help encourage this firing pattern that we would want in the golf swing. So have a look at the video that follows on from this introduction of the video of the drill and see how you get on and uh, let me know how it goes. So quite simply, this is the drill. Stand yourself in the doorway with your left bum cheek pretty much against the door, facing exactly into the architrave of the door. Put your hands across your chest and assume golf posture. The idea would be here now trying to keep your eyes facing the architrave, trying to open the door through using your hips and legs. This will get you initiating the downswing correctly with the lower half leading and the upper half slightly sort of dragging behind creates this kind of what we call x-factor stretch and x-factor recoil which is the catch-up action but mainly the only thing we're trying to do from this is get a body sense of the lower half moving first and the upper half catching up so this is a great drill to do at home to give you some feels that allow you to perform this better in your golf swing with ease so hopefully you'll get a chance to have a go at this drill it's a great drill to do indoors to give you the feels for what we want the body to do and transfer that to our normal golf swing on the course I love drills we can do at home because it means when we're boiling the kettle or watching TV, we can do some stuff that's going to really help our body move better in the golf swing. And this will help transfer into our golf swing when we practice. Obviously, in an ideal world, if we can do it while we practice as well, it'll help transfer the skills a lot easier. But effectively, this is working on your kinematic sequence and how your body should work in the golf swing and how then that interferes or reacts to how the club should work through the golf swing too and improve your impact positions. So hopefully you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe and share if you can.